call them back to a different time. Maybe I need to hear your voice to make. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new is so you can subscribe i post beauty lifestyle and sometimes random kinds of videos so be sure to subscribe because why not i know you want to see more of my content of course but today's video i am barefaced katie today so that can only mean one of a few things i mean it can be more than things but it doesn't um and that means I am doing a Accutane update, post update. So, so I am about two years and about a month post Accutane, which is crazy to me that it's been two years already off of Accutane. And it's just insane to me that to think that it has been two years and stuff. And the second year being off of it um, has definitely been more like difficult, more of a learning curve in a way. And as you can tell, I'm getting right into it. But yeah, I'm really excited to talk about like my experiences in the second year and stuff like that. And I just like doing these little update videos to kind of update you on my skin since it's not something I talk about obviously every video. But I do, I am really passionate about my skincare and just taking care of my skin and just taking care of myself in general is kind of my thing. So I thought I would talk about that and I feel like I don't really have much to talk about because I feel like from year to year nothing's really going to change but I still enjoy like doing these kinds of things. So yeah, we're just going to get into it. I kind of already did but that's okay okay so first off this is what my skin is looking like post accutane and stuff like that not too shabby now i feel like for me i didn't want to do this update a couple weeks but i was kind of going through a hormonal period with, with my acne which is pretty much all i go through right now now if it I felt like I was really pressured to not do it because of how my skin was going through a hormonal period, which happens for me once a month and stuff. And I feel like it's so easy to compare yourself to others. And I feel like I do that. And I feel like I'm like, okay, so this person went on a chain around the same time as me. And why does my skin like they look like theirs? Or why is mine not as, look as smooth or clear or whatever it may be? I feel like I always compare myself and that is something I'm trying to work on. And I'm trying to just be like, okay, we all have our own journeys with with everything, like with school, with work, with lifestyle choices, with literally everything. We have our own process. We have our own, own journey. We have our own way of dealing with things. So I don't know why I continue to compare myself and my skin to other people's Accutane or skincare journey. But this is what my skin is looking like right now. And honestly, this isn't actually like... I am happy, of course, with what my skin. I did notice, though, after the first year of being off of Accutane, I did notice that my skin didn't necessarily say clear 24-7 like it did in the first 12 months of being off of Accutane, which is pretty normal. Some people will either have acne come back after that or they'll just deal with it differently. And I feel like that's what I went through. I just dealt with it differently. Like, I felt like this, since the drugs weren't in my system, I felt like, not that they weren't working, but I just felt like... Like I developed new things and stuff and I don't feel like my skin is bad because most of this is just scarring and stuff and it actually doesn't look bad I just got done with a hormonal period so this is all mostly just healing stuff and obviously I just finished finals everything I have no idea when I'm uploading this video but I just finished finals so I definitely went through a stressful like breakout period and I went through my hormonal period all at once so I feel like for me I just dealt with that all at once so that's been a great so that's just been a journey in itself but yes I have scarring I feel like I'm trying to work with it and I've been using stuff that has been helping my scarring and it's been getting better and stuff but honestly I have no shame in my scars like it's literally not that big of a deal like do I ever feel like insecure about it sometimes but some lasting effects I have noticed which I think I talked about this in my last Accutane update or post Accutane update is is that I noticed that, that night blindness was a thing for me and it definitely was because I remember driving and struggling to see the road like I felt like I was driving blind <sighs> that's amazing I remember last summer driving home from work 
and I literally like is even struggling them but I have prescription my prescription has been modified for night as well since then so I've been doing fine with that my I guess my skin's dryness I'll talk about so obviously when you're on actane your skin it takes like basically all the moisture you have in your skin and sucks it out so I had severe dry skin and then slowly as I came off the drugs I felt like my skin was getting moisture back into it I definitely don't feel like I have oily skin at all I definitely feel like I get sweaty in the summer don't but I don't really feel like I have oily skin anymore and stuff and that's just not something I would consider I would say I have like I can get dry around my nose which I always get dry around my nose like no matter what and my lips I get really dry but my other parts of my face kind of stay normal i will get like a slight bit shiny sometimes but i also put highlight and illuminator all over my face so that really doesn't help that situation but i find that my skin is kind of normal to dry sometimes i get like a little bit oily but i wouldn't even consider it oily skin and stuff so i feel like my skin type still hasn't really gone back to what it used to be and i honestly don't even know if it will if it hasn't after two years i don't know if it will i could just be getting to that point where my skin is just gonna stay like this which I actually wouldn't mind like that doesn't bother me at all I have noticed also since then that I do have dry eyes and stuff like that like obviously it's not something you can physically see unless you're under like a microscope or an eye whatever you call those things when you go with the eye doctor but I January they did tell me my eye doctors when I went they said yeah you need to start using eye drops your eyes are getting like dry like and you get like something in your eye where they can tell so they told me i need to start using eye drops so i've been trying my best to use my eye drops like day and night sometimes i will forget to put them in and when i forget to put them in, them in i can actually i can really tell because my eyes just get irritated faster i've also noticed i can't really use waterline or upper waterline tight line eyeliner i feel like that just dries my eyes out more so i've been avoiding that especially except for like special occasions and stuff like that i've been avoiding that at all costs and yeah i don't really feel like my skin is bad i actually feel like i've gotten to a point with my skin where it's at a good state and i've been working with the scars i've been using different skincare products i also want to change up my cleanser soon which a lot of people will say don't change up your skincare but i haven't changed up my skincare really since i've gotten off actane i pretty much use cetaphil like this whole time and stuff like that for the most part i've always used cetaphil i think i changed up my cleanser i want to say like a couple months ago but i haven't been using that one in a bit and stuff i do want to change up my cleanser once i finish up cetaphil because cetaphil has alcohol in it it's also not cruelty free and i'm trying to get there i think i'm going to switch to tula i need to figure out if that is cruelty free Free, I believe it is but I need to double check on that but I did notice in October that my skin went through like a purging period I would call it like I felt like I was broken out like pretty much the whole time I don't know if it was like stressed or whatever because I was taking like this one class that really or two classes that really stressed me out to my core but I felt like that my skin was purging a lot at that time and stuff like that for whatever reason but now I feel like I'm in a comfortable state like pretty much most of this is also like dry skin so i've been trying to like exfoliate at least once a week and when i left the house more when we weren't in a quarantine and stuff i know it's like a complicated topic because technically now i'm in phase one but i would get facials like every couple months and with my skincare journey going forward i do want to get light therapy treatment which is going to help my scarring out a lot it is pretty much going to probably get rid of it which is awesome and stuff and i feel like the scars is what makes my face looks i don't even think it looks bad but like it's not clear clear i feel happy with it and my skin is a lot better than it used to be like i'll try to insert pictures from like what it looked like when i first went on octane and when i came off and i'll probably do pictures from now to a year ago but i'm completely happy with like where i'm at with my skincare where my skin is at and stuff i feel like it looks pretty good especially if you look at this side i feel like it looks pretty good this side is like very textured and stuff like that and it's just the side is definitely hit more of it 
that makes any sense. And obviously I have those days where I'm like, ew, what is on my face? And I feel like less beautiful, I guess, or like less of myself or whatever. I don't know. But I've definitely been trying to be very cautious of what my skin is looking like. I've also debated on taking out like different diet things like meats and I, it's not honestly a topic that I've thought about a lot. I haven't, I've been limiting dairy as much as possible. Like my coffee creamer doesn't really have dairy in it at all. So I've been trying to limit that a lot. I've just been trying to do whatever I can. And honestly, my breakout periods before acting to after acting are a lot different. They were more cystic. They didn't go away. This time I can notice that they do go away. And a lot of times I will get these like little red bumps and they go away on their own. They just stay a few days and then they go away. And I do plan on doing like a skincare routine when I kind of have like a new routine down. I am, I am, I think I posted last week a skincare routine on my Instagram. So I'm going to link that down below. It's going to be an IGTV where I did my skincare and that's like currently the products I am using, but I am going to thinking about changing up maybe just to my cleanser, everything else I'm pretty much liking. So I'm not going to change anything else up, but just my cleanser. But yeah, I feel like that's going to be it for this update. I don't really feel like I have much to say. I don't feel like too much has changed. I have like come to a point in my skin where I'm just like, like I said, I am happy with it. And no, my skin care might not be as perfect as somebody else who and I act acting it's been off a couple years and then I have more perfect looking skin whatever that may be my skin has definitely improved a lot and the journey is not over yet obviously there's a lot more I can work on with my skin but I know that I am beautiful with what I have and what I've been I guess dealt in the skincare department and yeah that's pretty much my how I'm feeling two years post acting so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see any more skin type updates let me know down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because we post videos every single week and and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.